Hi friends, it's Miss Mary Lynn. I'm here with Roy and Evelyn and Noah. And we're gonna do a little experiment today. And we're gonna be talking about germs. And some of you may have been hearing your moms and dads talk about germs a lot lately. And mom and dad, maybe you guys have seen this floating around. So we're gonna do a little experiment to show us why it's so important <laughs> to wash our hands. Okay, so we have this bowl of water, and then we have this pepper, and the pepper is going to be our germs. Can you guys see germs when they're out floating around in the air and at school? Do you see the germs? No. Nope. No, nope. they're too small for us to see. So the pepper is going to show us what the germs would look like if we could see them. We're going to sprinkle a good helping in there. All right, now I want each of you to take one finger. Just one. And dip it in the germs. Look at your fingers. How much germs do you have on your fingers? <laughs> A lot, right? Okay, save your one finger. We're going to take our antibacterial hand soap and dip that germy finger in the soap. Rub it around in there a little bit. We've got enough to spare for this. Now, pull your finger out. Okay. Now... Now this is the important part. When you wash your hands, this is what happens to the germs after you wash your hands. Go ahead and stick that finger back in there with the soap. A dish finger? Yep, yeah, the one with the soap. <gasps> Look what happens to your germs. Almost all of it goes away. Did you see what happened when you put your finger in there? It went all the way down. They it went way far away from your finger, right? It made this whole big circle. That's where all the soap is. And is there, how many germs are on your finger now? Let's like see. barely, barely any. Barely any germs any. left on your finger. So when you guys use soap, when you wash your hands, it makes the germs go away from your fingers. And that's what we want. We don't want any germs on your fingers. Because then we touch our face. Yeah. Right? Rub your nose, scratch your eyes. Maybe put them in your mouth. That Yuck, is... we don't do that, right? I'm going to try to do that again. Try it again. Here's Wait, the no. soap. I don't know if it'll work again. Let's see. No, it will not work. It didn't work. Try it again. Stick your finger in there. Leave it in there. No, not really. I think there's already enough soap. Yeah, so, already, this is already... something super simple. I just got all this stuff together in a minute. And you guys can try it at home too. Hope you guys are all feeling well. Bye. Hi friends. It's Miss Mary Lynn. We're outside enjoying some sun. So while we were out here, I thought I would read a book. So today we're going to read If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. If You Give a Mouse a Cookie, he's going to ask for a glass of milk. When you give him the milk, he'll probably ask you for a straw. When he's finished, he'll ask for a napkin. Then he'll want to look in a mirror to make sure he doesn't have a milk mustache. When he looks in the mirror, he might notice his hair needs a trim. So he'll probably ask for a pair of nail scissors. When he's finished giving himself a trim, he'll want a broom to sweep up. He'll start sweeping. He might even get carried away and sweep every room in the house. He may even end up washing the floors as well. When he's done, he'll probably want to take a nap. You'll have to fix up a little box for him with a blanket and a pillow. He'll crawl in, make himself comfortable, and fluff the pillow a few times. He'll probably ask you to read him a story. So you'll read to him from one of your books, and he'll ask you to see the pictures. When he looks at the pictures, he'll get so excited, he'll want to draw one of his own. He'll ask for a paper and crayons. He'll draw a picture. When the picture is finished, 
he'll want to sign his name with a pen. Then he'll want to hang his picture on your refrigerator, which means he'll need scotch tape. He'll hang up his drawing and stand back to look at it. Looking at the refrigerator will remind him that he's thirsty. So, he'll ask for a glass of milk. And chances are, if he asks for a glass of milk, He's going to want a cookie to go with it.